Hey guys, Liquid here, and welcome back to Let's Play Spider-Man. The movie, the game, the movie, the game. We left off, we were gonna freaking ransack this, this old nest. man named the Vulture's house. Or nest, as he likes to call it. Now, this is actually a pretty complex level, and I think it's actually really well done. I hope it kind of has some, you. you know, like kind of fine patterns and stuff, and oh, Okay, off to a bad start. Yeah, basically you just gotta climb all the way up to the tower while the vulture is basically bombing you and sending out like little spider bots along the way. I don't really know why the, the why the vulture would have like little spider bots. I would think you would like have like little vulture bots or something, but okay. And basically you a lot of the stairways are like blocked off so you have to like find different ways around them. I like going into holes and stuff. Which is always good. You're becoming a thorn in my side. Oh Come yeah. In, you die, Spider Man. Now what great physics on this thing right here, wait. You're <laughs> okay, yeah, so that that log basically is gonna be swinging around indefinitely now which I'm pretty sure kinda wouldn't happen in real life but okay I'll, I'll handle it oh did I just fall like all the way down or not all the way down but I, I, I fell quite far whoops I'll just oh my god yeah I was gonna try to get away Oh yeah. The vul I gotta say that um, after this we actually do have we do have a boss fight with Vulture. And I just do want to say that the boss fight with Vulture is actually really well done in my opinion. It's actually very good. Yeah, if you if you can like if you're going upstairs and it, and it seems that you can go onto like a different ledge. Oh. Not this case, but usually y you should take that ledge, but not always. Okay, I'm pretty sure you have to blocked off, so we would go in here and jump up. Ah, it took me months to find this haven, and now you've ruined everything. Well, technically well, you have. House hunting in the big city. I mean. For all, for all we know, for all Vulture knows, we, we just want to join him and freaking be super villains with him. He he just blowing up his own house, trying to trying to kill us. We, we might just want to freaking hang with him. Oh well. Sad story. Who's your landlord, Vulture? Quasimodo? Aha, uh -huh, funny Spider-Man, very funny. I gotta say, like, friggin' I'll just laugh if Spider-Man goes to some super villain or something like that, making all these like smart ass jokes and all that. Then all of a sudden super the super villain just pulls out a gun and just freaking shoots his head off. I, I would honestly laugh. That that would even even though it's kind of uh sad, I I would just laugh at the irony. Okay, freaking vulture, man! You're you're getting suicidal. If you want to blow up your house, please do it from the top first, not the bottom. Oh my god. Okay, I think we're almost there. God Christ, what the hell? Oh wow. Okay, now I really, I really, we really need to get up here, man. Health. Okay, 
Okay, That's here we are. One heck of a doorbell vultures got. Oh, can you imagine that? Freaking someone rings your doorbell. Groceries up here. Someone rings your doorbell and your brain just explodes. <laughs> You leave me in peace. Well, I wish I could say the same for you, Mr. I like to throw bombs at people. Yeah, what's up with that, man? Spidey's all, all interested in, like, putting the super villains in jail, but there's, like, the normal guys that are just normal dudes with no superpowers. He just freaking doesn't mind killing them. Psycho, man. Freaking psycho. It's a shame. You can repair things that Vulture is damaged by webbing them up. Oh yes, we have to. Hey Vulture! I forgot about this. Ever teach you that stealing is wrong? Yeah, basically we have to chase Vulture. If you see my blah blah blah. The only injured party here is you. In a moment. If you've seen my um, Ultimate Spider-Man LP, you basically get the gist of this. It's just chase him really. And then every once in a while he'll like make a stop and blow some shit up. We gotta save it. If you lock onto him, he's basically impossible to lose really. You couldn't just leave this a personal disagreement, could you, Baldy? I'll settle with Vulture after I stop that sign from collapsing. Speaking of actually, why is he going after jewels? He should like be like trying to steal some freaking uh was it a uh, hair grow hair hair grower or whatever. I'm trying to think of like a really popular one. I, I can't think of one though. Oh well. Those people look thirsty, don't they, Spider-Man? Why don't I serve them a drink? I think the folks down there are wet enough already. Vulture, man, you're just a dick. Seriously. I'm gonna have fun beating you up, man. You senior citizen mother... Mm. What's the matter, Spider-Man? Too fast for you? Oh, no. Oh, no. Hey, come back. The food at the old folks' home wasn't that bad, was it? <laughs> oh, God. I'm just trying to imagine, like, some senior citizen in like some retirement home talking to like his friends or whatever saying I'm gonna bust out of here one day I'm gonna make wings and fly away and then they're all like oh shut up you nincompoop and then one day he just kills everybody and does actually fly away that would actually be very interesting someone should make a movie about that attack of the uh, old people with wings I pay. Another good one, actually. I was talking to this with uh, Trout, Trout from the Damned. Uh, it's like some like here's here's the boss fight Vulture. Basically, you can see Vulture has two health meters: a blue one and a red one. The red one is, is his actual health. The blue one is how long he can stay in the air for. We can't actually do anything to his actual health until he gets out of the air. So basically, we need to get him out of the air and then beat him up when he's on the ground. But anyway, I was talking to like Charles and Dams about, uh, like imagine some extremist Christian group or something like that, where where once you turn on 66, people they they think of it as you, you um that's when you're that's when you're like the most susceptible to be possessed by the devil or something like that so it's like there's this like extremist Christian group that basically goes and like assassinates people once they turn 66 years old like the uh, like a, the uh, senior citizen assassination bureau or something like that it's, it's really it's really actually describing it like by myself it's actually quite the uh, Wowzers idea but it was actually quite hilarious when I was thinking of it. You rounded me for a moment, but just you wait. 
Yeah, and then this is it basically. And then he's all down. And we just beat him up. Yeah, oldie. Yeah, oldie. Oh no! Oh, uh, one more. That'll do it. <laughs> I can't stay airborne. Hey. So we just killed an old man. Yay for us. Now, Vulture, you can't go around taking things that don't belong to you. What kind of example does it set for impressionable youngsters out there? <laughs> Come on, old timer. Wouldn't want you falling before we can book you, right? <laughs> Those wings are scary, man, the way they stay out of the web. Okay, stay. Probably do the next, uh. I think next, actually. If I remember correctly. Let's just see what's next. I've been recording this a lot more than I have, um, Inigo Prophecy and, uh, Code Veronica. Mainly because I, I know this game a lot more than I do Inigo Prophecy, having only played Inigo Prophecy once and Code Veronica. Code Veronica zero times. Perhaps, like, stop recording there, so I might even cut off. Both genetic signatures resemble Spider-Man's. Take a look at this map. As you can see, each target is unique, but both have characteristics of arachnid DNA. We don't have time to dawdle. Have the HKs force both targets into the same area. Once they're together, capturing both subjects shouldn't be a problem. Am I making myself clear? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, sir. Oh yeah, baby. You saw him in Let's Play Spider-Man for the PlayStation 1? And you'll see him again. Spiders. Spiders everywhere. I love this. What a jump. I really do love the scorpion in this. Like, just... Go back to your corporate masters. He comes off as this, like, paranoid freak. And it's a really good representation of him. No. 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 It's great. Okay, my game crashed there, sadly. It's going to be weird going back to the subway station after my battle with Shocker. Still, taking photos of the repairs is easy money, so I can't really complain. Easy money? When will I learn to keep my mouth shut? I don't think it actually explains why he goes back to the subway station. He just does. And basically, we have to protect Scorpion. Even though Scorpion can easily protect himself. This guy's a few sandwiches short of a picnic, but I'd better help him out. Get off me! Get off me! Okay, this is actually quite a difficult fight at times because these uh, HKs, I think they were called, are actually quite painful. They can do a lot to you very fast. And I think on different difficulties, they'll, they'll like, have more numbers. Luckily, luckily for now, it's only, uh, 20. And at least, I love how, how like, at the moment... Aww. I love how, at the moment, freaking Scorpion and Spider-Man just don't even care about each other, they're just like, huh? Oh, no way. I will not die. Come on, Rusty. Let's dance. God, I, need, I need health right now. I need health. God, 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 God. Ugh. Om nom nom. Yeah, and Scorpion's health is actually already pretty low. But luckily, um, if you manage to take down a few... The main thing that, that 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 will take Scorpion's health down is uh when it gets n like numbered. I just want to be normal again. Aww. But if you can manage to like take down quite a few, he'll be able to defend himself on his own. No no problem. Hey, Killbot Five 